three, two, one. How's it going, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Adibiotics Chat Over Coffee. <music> For those who do not know what capoeira is, it is a Brazilian martial art that was created centuries ago. And today we're going to be talking to the school's top instructor, that is Professor Tattoo, who's going to give us a bit more about the history of capoeira and how this place came together as well. This is his induction to the biotic universe. All right, so I'm here today with the school's top instructor, Professor Tattoo. Thank you very much for taking the time out to joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And this is, has been amazing. We've seen upstairs as well how amazing the classes are. And it's like, it's a bit shocking. <laughs> it's, it's like mind blowing how you do everything. So, what inspired you into learning martial arts? Uh, well, I'd done a little bit of martial arts before um, when I was much younger. So, I started training capoeira when I was 16 um, and I did lots of other sports I'd never really um, I'd never really done, spent a lot of time with martial arts um, I was more with capoeira interested in the movement side of it and the acrobatic side of it that was what attracted me as a 16 year old to it more than the martial side but the martial arts was is obviously a key element of capoeira so yeah, yeah, you learn that as well, and I got into that in its own way, as, as well as the music and the language and everything. But the thing that initially attracted me to capoeira was the acrobatics. Right. And how did capoeira come to fruition? How did it all get started? Um, do you mean capoeira itself or capoeira in Nottingham? Capoeira itself. Uh, so capoeira is a Brazilian sport. Um, it was developed by people of African descent in Brazil. Uh, the earliest uh, recorded um, testimony of capoeira is an 18th century, uh, I believe, newspaper, a Dutch colonial newspaper, where they describe a sort of ritualistic dance done between slaves. Um, uh, yeah, and it has some, the description resembles capoeira in some way. Basically, the history of capoeira is a bit murky because it was, uh, there's no written history of capoeira. It's all... Um, sort of folklore and um, yeah, uh, oral history really because capoeira was developed by uh, either slaves or descendants of slaves um, and, um, and being illiterate the way that they shared their traditions was not through kind of written literature so yeah, capoeira we know was developed by African people it's a mixture of different traditions um, people believe, uh, used to believe that capoeira was um, <clears throat> developed as a form of self-defence uh, but I think that that theory is uh, kind of not really as popular these days I think people see it more as a, a ritual tradition which combined different kind of music traditions and uh, fights and dances into a singular thing um, and yeah I mean capoeira is, is, is all over the world these days it's um, it it's you know Brazil is still the beating heart of capoeira, but there's strong capoeira scene within the UK and throughout Europe and around the world. Um, so yeah, capoeira is really it's it's the most kind of uh, classic Brazilian sport. The thing that um, really captures um, the melting pot of Brazil. Uh, yeah, I mean it came out of colonialism, but now it's a real capoeira is a, a source of strength for Brazilian culture as reflecting the kind of uh, the different influences that make up what Brazilian society is, the African influences, the native Brazilian influences, the Latin influences, um, and capoeira kind of manifests all those different elements, though it is still strongly very much born out of that time of slavery and colonialism. Um, so within capoeira there are, there are lots of kind of songs and, and uh, kind of rituals which relate to its origins and um, are very much about trying to remember um, the traditions of the African people who developed capoeira and um, trying to remember uh, slavery and pay homage to the people who developed capoeira really. And what are the main benefits of learning capoeira? Um, so capoeira is a sport so obviously it will help you get fit. Uh, it's a large demographic of our of our capoeira group in Nottingham are people who maybe aren't attracted to traditional sports. So, capoeira is a martial art, but it's not like 
a lot of other martial arts. The emphasis is less on uh, fighting in, in the sense of winning against someone. And it's more about conversation of, of, of movement. So the martial side forms part of that. So there is the tricking aspect in the sense of you're trying to maybe knock the other person over or kick the other person. But as opposed to some martial arts where there are competitions you can get uh, medals and it's about who's the strongest or, or whatever. Capoeira is very much about what can you bring to that interaction with that particular person in that moment. So, yeah, I, I think in, in the sense of it, it being a martial art, I think it's quite interesting. If you've done other martial arts, it's something um, which is less contact heavy um, and the focus is slightly different. So it, it's really interesting in that sense. Um, there's, you know, there are a lot of, there's a lot of stretching involved. It's, uh, you know, conditioning and flexibility work. Uh, so it's got a lot of kind of parallels to yoga and, and yoga has influenced some of the, the training aspects as well uh, in terms of the warm-ups. Um, so I think capoeira is a very good sport for getting more agile, losing weight. But it's a fun environment, you know, you learn percussion, you learn singing in, a, in Portuguese, uh, traditional Afro-Brazilian songs and capoeira songs. Um, so really it's quite a holistic a uh, hobby to take up you can learn language through it you it's a very social sport so you you know it's it's competitive but not in the same way as other sports can be um so it's a kind of a nurturing environment where if you're a bit bored of uh, traditional sports or if you've never felt that sport was for you i think capoeira has got a lot to offer um but as well i think that people if they train other martial arts and and things like mma they can get a lot from capoeira as well because I mean, Conor McGregor is someone who's been massively influenced by Capoeira to his training with Ida Portal. So I think in terms of sports performance, there's a lot to be gained from Capoeira as well. We train a lot of acrobatic movements from handstands and different kinds of flips and, and uh, bridge sort of exercises. So uh, in terms of mobility, um, Capoeira is a sport that really offers a lot more than sort of rigid two-dimensional sports. Fantastic. And how long has Capoeira Nottingham been, been operating in the city? Um, so Capoeira Nottingham was founded in sort of late the late nineties, early two thousands. Um, I started training in two thousand one uh, as a sixteen year old, um, and I've been teaching the group uh, as one of the main teachers for the last ten years, running the group uh, with friends. Um, yeah, and we've we've had children's classes from the very beginning, and a lot of those. Some of those children now are, are, are young adults and they're teaching capoeira themselves um, and, you know, pushing us as teachers always. Um, and we've got that, that kind of uh, atmosphere and that philosophy within our group about uh, creating a community. So we've got a lot of people from different backgrounds, a lot of different ethnic backgrounds, cultural backgrounds. Um, and so our children's and our teen and adult classes have got a real, they've got a really nice energy to them because we've got, um, yeah, like I say, people... Of different ages mixing with each other and that's one of the brilliant things about capoeira that really it's so different from other sports in the sense that you can have a really fantastic interesting game of capoeira with um with a child for example or with a teenager or me as someone who's advanced at capoeira who's been training for a long time i, I still get a lot out of having a capoeira action, uh, interaction playing capoeira with someone who's a beginner because they bring their own kind of unpredictability to a capoeira game um so it's yeah capoeira the capoeira community in nottingham really is founded on that value on those values of of kind of community and of enjoyment um and yeah it's it's a really thriving community and everyone's very very welcome to get involved okay and um, how often are classes held here um, so all our classes at the moment are at the International Community Centre on Mansfield Road on the edge of the city centre in Nottingham. Uh, and we have classes Monday, Wednesday and Friday evenings and on Saturday mornings. Um, and yeah, we've got, we've got different classes throughout the week for different <clears throat> areas of Capoeira. So if you're particularly interested in the acrobatic side, for example, we've got a class on Monday evenings which is focused specifically on that. Uh, even if you've got no experience of, of even doing a cartwheel in your life, we've got the, the, the resources and the teaching um, to be able to help you to kind of achieve new goals, kind of equipment uh, to, and mats we use in that, in that situation. We've got more martial classes, which are a bit more about 
the kind of the kicking side and the maybe self-defense aspect. Um, we've got classes which are capoeira inspired, but are fitness focused. So it's less of the sparring and more about trying to uh, improve your physical condition, about strength and flexibility um, uh, and mobility. Uh, and then we've got classes which are um, focused more on the playing aspect, the sparring aspect of capoeira. Um, so yeah, really there's something for everyone throughout the week. We've got classes for teenagers, classes for beginners, uh, classes for children of all ages. Um, and we run courses regularly as well. We have beginners courses. We've got a beginners course starting on the 15th of February is, is our first one of 2020. And we run a couple of courses uh, throughout the year and we uh, often have open days as well. So there's plenty of opportunities for people to get involved. They just need to go on our website and, and see what we do. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, so again, thank you very much for taking the time out to joining us, Professor. It's been an amazing experience and we're looking to re-collaborate with yourself again in the future. So if you are around Mansfield Road, if you want to come in and try something different, I highly recommend Capoeira is one of the best things you can do. Like I said, new year, new decade, start making new changes. And this gentleman here will help you along all the way as well. So until next time, stay Bye. biotic.